As you are no doubt aware, Charlie Baker ran as a guy who would not raise your taxes. I, for one, don't think the state can do what most people, including our governor, want done with a no new taxes stance. So I was pleased when I sensed a tiny opening when I heard some Beacon Hillites describing the extension of the 5.7% hotel tax to Airbnb rentals as loophole closing, not tax raising. I love a good euphemism. And the money would have been earmarked to increasing the Baker championed earned income tax credit for lower income working families. So a week and a half ago when the governor joined us on Boston Public Radio, I asked him if he'd support the tax. So you'll sign it? We would, we would definitely, yeah, we would sign that. Pretty close to a done deal, wouldn't you say? And then when I heard this radio ad, I said, yes. Right now, there's a bill before Beacon Hill that provides more revenue to the Commonwealth to fund important services like education and health care. The Boston Globe said this bill is, quote, too good to pass up. You know who is behind that ad? Airbnb itself, saying if Massachusetts families pay taxes, we should do, as Airbnb does in states like Florida, Illinois, Oregon, Rhode Island, and others. End of story, right? Hardly. Just days later, the governor reversed himself. If anybody thinks I'm walking back my no new taxes view of the world, uh, they're mistaken. I guess my answer would be, I'm not interested in raising taxes. I am interested in leveling playing fields. At this point in time, on this particular issue, uh, those two seem two things seem to be in conflict. In conflict? On the radio, I asked if this was simply that kind of playing field leveling, and here's what the governor said. There's now a level playing field issue, and uh, I think that falls into the category of, um, of creating the proper competitive environment. So what happened? Something Massachusetts native founder of Americans for Tax Reform, Grover Norquist, happened, criticizing the governor for refusing to sign a formal no-tax pledge. I doubt that. Baker himself said what happened is he hadn't read the bill before our radio discussion and didn't realize it covered small B&Bs, not just air B&Bs. So I take him at his word. As soon as the legislature returns from its interminable five-month vacation, send the governor loophole-closing legislation he'll sign, and the cash-needy Commonwealth will have $20 million more to direct to cash-needy Massachusetts families. You with me? Or is the governor right? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.